Welcome back to Currency 365. All right, so Sweden uh, nears a cash-free future. Okay, so they these countries are are some of these countries are moving quickly to a cashless society. Okay, and that's that 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 tells us that we're in the end times. Okay, I know some of you guys think, oh, we're not in the end times. Okay, well, the, Sweden is telling you that we're in the end times because they're going to be cast as societies, and um, this is exactly what's happening, okay? Uh, Sweden doesn't want to use co coins and currencies anymore, and we're going to see this from all of the countries soon, okay? Uh, that's why they're talking about uh, a currency war, a race to the bottom for all currencies and coins to become worthless in the near future. Okay, they want to use credit cards, uh, I guess Bitcoin and, and uh, electronic stuff, uh, uh, currencies will be used, and also then also apps, okay, you can use your app to pay things, okay, <laughs> uh, for electronic things, and then what, the problem with that is, that's how close we are to everybody having the microchip. Because once uh, people ref uh, uh, don't want to use credit cards any longer, then they're going to start uh, implementing the microchip. And they're already doing it in Sweden. So <laughs> so this is how quickly it is coming uh, to, uh, to rev the fulfillment of revelations where everyone is going to have to take the mark of the beast, the microchip technology in your forehead or tat it could be a barcode or you could have it implanted in your right hand. They're already doing that in Sweden. A lot of Swedish comp uh, Fortune 500 companies, you have to have the microchip in your hand just to get in the buildings, okay? Uh, just to be able to get through around the buildings, you have to have the microchip in your hand. So these people are already taken the mark of the beast they haven't worshipped the image of the beast yet though but they've already taken the microchip technology um but uh, for you guys that are uh, biblical style scholars and stuff like that, um, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, well, if they take the microchip now and the, the Antichrist hasn't been revealed and they're not worshiping the beast, is that still, uh, uh, you know, damnation or something like that? Uh, my, my thing is, uh, right now, I don't believe it is. I think, I mean, you can have that microchip removed. You're not worshiping the image of the beast yet, okay, because the Antichrist has not been revealed. So, so I think that there, it's still early, okay? I think that is the mark of the beast, but you're not worshiping any of it. You're not worshiping the image of the beast. So you have to take the mark and worship the image, I think, and that is uh, eternal damnation. So uh, right now, the people that are in Sweden that have the mark of the beast in their hand and they're going around the buildings, I, I think they they're, they they can uh, take that stuff out and, and not, and, you know, worship the image of the beast and they'll be fine uh but at the same time uh that stuff has does um change your dna uh that that microchip has some type of uranium in it or something like that and it, and it changes your dna so i just want us <laughs> let you, we, we need to be careful of what we put in our bodies okay um <laughs> number one uh for you biblical scholars out there we need to be careful what we put in our body what type of uh you got to be careful with 3d tattooing and all that type, type of things uh but yes yeah, sweeten is is stepping up on the forefront and saying look man we're <laughs> we're going to uh, be a cashless society and and we're going to introduce to the world the mark of the beast and everything like that because they're already doing it now um so yeah europe is going to be transformed into a cashless society and the people are going to have chips in their hands or ta barcodes on their forehead or on their neck or whatever place they put it on um that's going to be weird um <laughs> very very weird and uh soon it will be in America and around the world, and uh, you won't be able to buy or sell without the microchip technology or the barcode. And, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I think uh, those that are um, uh, of faith and of Jesus Christ, uh, um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have uh, a system. If you're still alive at that time, I think we're probably seven to nine years away, okay? But uh, if you're alive at that time, God willing, and um, uh, what we might have is... Um, 
we probably will have our own exchange um, thing by then. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure you have Christians and you have uh, people of faith and people of God that, that do not want to take the microchip already uh, trying to establish what they're going to be using uh, because we're not going to be able to buy or sell without the microchip. Everything from Walmart to, if the Walmart is even still around, uh, Walmart to all types of stores, convenience stores, shopping stores, you're not going to be able to use cash or credit cards you're going to have to have the microchip on you or 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 the barcode on your forehead uh or or uh the chip or the, or the barcode inside and lasered into your eyes um for you to be able to uh buy or sell okay so um so for the for the people that are Christian or Christian faith or 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 uh, believe in Christ or believe in God, those just to believe in God and then don't want to be uh, uh, into the microchip stuff or put any type of. Uh, uranium metal whatever the case may be inside your body and trans and and, and you know destroy your dna um we're going to have to um uh have our own um uh, what currency or exchange type of system um and so that's the reason why uh we're going to be granted this transfer of wealth okay and uh this transfer of wealth that is coming is going to allow us to prepare ourselves for the microchip technology era, okay, that's coming. Um, we're going to have the money to be able to, uh, you know, if we want to have farmland and, and our own land and stuff like that so we can be able to raise our own crops and, and things like that. So just remember that. That's one of the big reasons why the Lord and, and is going to be granting us this transfer of wealth is because there is the, a society that's coming in the rear near future that we're not going to be able to buy or sell, and we're going to have to be able to be in the wilderness or be in places where we're going to have to exchange on our own and buy and, and buy and sell on our own and do our own thing. Uh, we're going to be outcasts from the world. Okay. So a lot of you guys are going to have um, uh, mansions with farm with huge farmlands and uh, you're going to be able to uh, raise crops and do things like that for a whole community that cannot buy and sell. So that's I mean, you guys are going to be leaders in this uh, end time. So uh, just understand the, 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 the responsibility that's going to be put upon you uh, with this transfer of wealth that is coming. So just want to let you guys know, I know this is we're just talking about Sweden and the cash of society, but I have to take it there because it is bigger than just sweet and it's going to happen all around the whole world in the next seven to ten years and we need to be ready and that's the reason why we're getting this transfer of wealth to prepare ourselves for this that is coming uh very near future currency 365 some of you guys got scared uh it's nothing to be scared about it is prophecy that has to be completed uh in the end times for the return of our lord jesus and jesus christ okay so then that that's all it is okay <laughs> prophecy has to be completed for his return so there you have it and um and uh yeah stay up stay real and um and no fear right like uh what's his name press resetter says all right so <laughs> currency 365 i'm out man you guys be safe bye